do you think that that law should go into effect without those exceptions? I think um, what I think is really uh, pretty pretty irrelevant. It's um, really a matter of um, what the legislature will come together and do. Um, I is think, there momentum to, to I, update and, that? Well, I would tell you, I think that there are as many different opinions on this as there are um, people in the legislature. So what that means to Wisconsinites is that law is likely to go into effect without those changes because will you be able to get the majority of people that want to make a change to it? When we're talking about the rape and incest exceptions, um, on the high side, the Guttmacher Institute, um, which, is, which is a pro-choice institute, even quotes on the high side, maybe 1% of induced abortions are, are for those reasons. So um, they may be popular, but is it rational? I personally am offended by the the talk of of abortion as health care. Any any uh, woman who has gone through an abortion or any of the, uh, these female procedures, I've I've had a miscarriage, I've had a DNC before. You are putting a woman's health in danger doing these procedures, even as as professionally as things are done. So it's. This isn't health care. This isn't going to prevent mortality. Let's get at what's what's really causing the mortality for these women. It's it's not carrying a child to term.